Okay, here's um, my app that I'm using to, to play with heart rate entrainment. Uh, I'm just going to set that multiple up to one. Okay, so what's going on is it's tracking my heart rate and as a target heart rate it's trying to move me to. Um, and the way it's going to do that is just play buzzes, uh, just uh, do haptic feedback, so little buzzes on my wrist at, in, at the same rate as the heart rate that I'm trying to get to. That's the kind of idea. So if I press this button, I can now feel it buzzing at 84 beats per minute. Um, I'm staying quite stable there. Uh, but um, now maybe I want to move that heart rate. Well, the heart rate's moving around anyway. Uh, maybe say I want to try and make it faster. I can sort of crank it up like that. Now you can see the target beats per minute going up. Will it move my current heart rate? We, you know, we're getting something. My experience is even sitting down, lying down on my back, uh, moving very little, it eventually goes up to, my heart rate goes up to around 100 beats per minute and sits there. This sort of range. Um, it's only my first, you know, my first sort of attempts at playing with it. Now, trying to take it back down, I haven't had much success going the other direction. But we'll see. Oh, sorry, this is going blurry on. It's sort of hard to film it. I have to keep touching the. I'll leave my finger on to keep the screen awake. Seems like something, but is this random? I don't know. Um, more tests, but sort of interesting. Oh, I'll try turning off the buzzing. My um, so far, I've been I've suspected that just the buzzing, no matter the f frequency, ramps my heart rate up, and then when I turn it off, it goes down. Anyway, this would work better if I was lying down. I think they're better tests. Um, so, you know, but just wanted to show it.